morning and welcome uh, to this week's uh, video for coffee time. I use an app called uh, Bird Guides. Um, it's about £60 uh, a year and there's been quite a few reports for the spoonbills down at Keyhaven from really sort of Keyhaven itself, Keyhaven Marshes, Pennington, all the way through up to Normandy uh, Lagoon. So I'm going to go fairly light, I only just brought my small bag. Um, so the idea being is to walk uh, full length uh, of the seawall uh, all the way to Normandy and then return back again. But what I've decided to do on the way down is to stop off at Farley Mount just to see whether I could uh, see if there's any improvement in the activity of the hares. Certainly hasn't been that active this morning. I've got a funny feeling evenings are probably going to be better. Although I did manage to see a hare uh, literally as I was walking up uh, the footpath here. Uh, came right up towards me. I don't think he realised I was there initially. Spotted me and then, and then ran away. So I've decided to sort of walk to the end of the venue, back to the car and then on to Key Haven. So fingers crossed uh, I'm going to get something and obviously there's other things as well, maybe some sort of Dunlin and Red Yank, maybe some turnstones on the, on, the, on the beach as well. So yeah, whatever happens, it's always nice to be out in nature. So let's see what comes. One of the first birds I saw were these lovely turnstones. Not particularly turning stones here. They were foraging around in the weed, looking for sort of small crustaceans and insects. I managed to navigate the steep sea wall get down onto the rocky shore, which is a preference. Get really quite low, very tolerant of me actually. I uh, managed to get pretty close. I was so engrossed with their feeding that uh, didn't seem to take a blind bit of notice of me. breed in the Arctic um, and the turnstone's primarily a, a winter visitor. If you do spot some over the summer and the probability is that they're young non-breeding birds. A lovely bird to watch especially with the sound of the sea breaking on the shore behind. I walked the full length uh, from Kievan along the wall until I got to Normandy Lagoon. Spotting these lovely red shanks on the way. It's quite open, I must admit, when it's very windy. It can be really difficult to film here. Once I got to the edge of the lagoon, I spotted them, some on the shore, and some in quite relatively shallow water in the middle of the lagoon. As a result of sort of climate change, spoonbills are becoming more and more regular here, expanding their breeding further northwards. They breed in very small numbers here in the UK, and the most successful colony is the northern end of the Norfolk coast. You can see here what a 
challenge the wind or can be. It seemed as if they were all facing into the wind. And I love the way that which the punk style feathered heads were being blown around. One thing I was really looking forward to is to see them feed. I think this time of the day they were just generally resting up. I did manage to see it down in Arn, and it's uh, quite elegant, the sweeping sideways motion as they're moving forward in the water. It's really quite distinctive. It appeared as if as one moved off, the remaining spoonfields in the water followed to join their colleagues on the shore. And it looked very much as if they were going to stay there for the rest of the afternoon. A couple of them flew off back towards Kiaven and looking at the time I decided to move back. And every time I saw a white bird I was taking off. I just started filming. But in the first instance it was a, a little egret. And eventually I caught up with one of the spoon bills and very distinctive how they fly with their spooned bills straight out in front and the legs straight pointing backwards. And it appeared as if he was flying directly to Kiaven off into the distance. So I worked my way back towards where I'd parked the car, managed to see a few different birds as I went. I saw some Slovenian grebes, which is too far out for me to get a decent film. But this pair of male eider ducks, another first for me, really quite distinctive colours. The eider commonly nests uh, around the coast of Scotland and northern England, but in winter it's found around most of the British Isle coastline. The Ida is the sort of largest and fastest of the sea ducks famed for its soft downy feathers which are not only used by the bird to line uh, and insulate the nest uh, but us humans uh, to stuff our quilts and pillows. So I finally reached the harbour at Kiaven, which is actually quite picturesque. Looked across and I didn't think it was going to be a very good sunset. Very cloudy. But I was proven wrong. Just as I got to the car, a little orange glow to the light, which picked out the Isle of Wight and the lighthouse perfectly. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, big thumbs up, like and subscribe, 
And as always, look forward for you to join me in a cup of coffee in the next one.